Hello and welcome to this ninth video recording of the product configuration models and how to set it up. My name is Jens Christensen. I am the program manager for Western Computer. And what we'll talk about today is a little bit about the surrounding things that involved after you've configured your product configurator and some of the additional features and how you can do the test and how you can control the user interface. So these are the things that we'll look at today. The first thing I want to show you is how that you can actually translate the attribute types. So if you have different speaking personnel who speaks different languages, you can actually set that up to a different language. There is a translation piece here. So for each and every product configuration model that you select, you can go in and then you can add additional languages to it. So right now we just have English and then if you go in and you can see here, there's a Danish translation to these things here. So that means that it will look to you as your user and then it will go in and it, it will give you this text, the translated text instead of the English text that's there. So that is one extra thing that I'd like to show. The other thing I'd like to show is the possibility for you to actually templatize a configuration model or a configuration on a configuration model. That can be very useful if you have a big model and the configuration that you use is usually the same or whatnot. So that is what you said in here. You can go in and you can create a new template here. And as soon as you do that, and you save the line here and see if I can select it you you click on it and then you can go in and you can select the different configurations that you want to put in and you want to click OK and then you can activate it that means that once you go into your configuration you can actually apply that template and we can see that in our next thing here where I'd like to go through the testing Everywhere you have your setup, you actually have the opportunity to go in and test your configuration. What, what that actually does is that it goes in and you can go through the entire configuration without it creates the bill of material or the route. So you can go in and you can add some different data in here and then you, you can actually see and once you click OK, it will validate whether there are any areas, any issues with it. So it's not generating any bomb routes, but it does validate that you will not meet any issues in the configuration. And this is also, I can show it here, but it will be the same for the sales order line and for the production order line once you configure the order. So you can also load the template and now I can take the new template I just created and what that will do, it will generate, populate all the data that you have in the system. So that is a little bit about the testing process here. The user interface can also be controlled. So once you're at a point where you think that you're done with your configuration, you can actually go in now and you can set up the user interface and set up the sequence and put in the mint and sectionize the attributes that you have in your model here. So if we go in and click user interface here, you can see that now there is one called the attribute group and you can add all of these, all of the attributes are already set up and then you can control how you would like to have them viewed. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new attribute group just to show you. And I will say route. Let's put that in. Let's put corner specs. So I'm going to go ahead and put corner specs in. So now once I have that, I now have a attribute group. So I can now go in and select any of the attributes and add that to that attribute group just to see that it's a little bit different here. And then I'm going to see if I can move this. All right, so going ahead and test it. And what you can see now is that now I've actually created a sub section here and you can select that and you can have that in, in that sequence. So you can control the sequences and you can have smaller different sections here to keep it nice and neat. So that's just a little bit about the additional things that you can have on your configuration model. And thanks again for listening and watching. And uh, next time we'll do the last piece where we'll go in and see how to do the activation and versioning. So thanks again and have a great day.